Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a Cinco de Mayo edition for shakes. I did do the Cinco de Mayo teas. So now everyone is asking me for shakes so that they can sell combos and promote combos for Cinco de Mayo week. So we are starting off with vanilla protein. And this is going to be a double protein recipe. Again, if you only need one for your meal plan, just put one scoop of vanilla protein. And then we are grabbing our mango pineapple. I'm gonna go ahead and put double scoops of mango pineapple as well. This is that new flavor that was released. And then I'm going to get the famous seasoning and I'm going to sprinkle that right into the blender with the products. Not a lot, cause you are gonna use some on the cup, but you know, just sprinkle a little bit in there. That seasoning is very popular for Cinco de Mayo week and let that blend up while that's blending go ahead and grab the caramel if you have your skinny syrups grab your herbalife measuring spoon and just do one tablespoon which is the big side of your spoon and just drop that right in there as your products are blending and now you see me grabbing my pineapple preserves um it's the kind that you find in the jelly aisle i just like to put it in a squirt bottle because it makes it easier for me um it just makes things go smoother i do it with all my preserves so this is pineapple preserves and as you saw i just squirted it around the rim of the cup and it's gonna fall down on the sides of the cup that way I can just sprinkle my seasoning all around it like that and it sticks right to it. Now I'm only going to do it where the seasoning is sticking to the top because I'm also going to add the sugar-free caramel into the blender. That way it creates that kind of marbly effect I guess you can say at the bottom of the cup. So it'll have the preserves and caramel at the bottom of the cup and then when you get to the top is where the seasonings will be. And you'll see what I mean after I pour this into the cup. Just like that. And again, if this channel is helping you, please like, subscribe, share with your Herbalife family, comment below if you're going to use the recipe or if you did and how you liked it. Let me know how it is. Um, Instagram, if you follow me, tag me in your pictures. I like to see when people use the recipes. I think that's so cool. So just go ahead and do that. My Instagram is at im.melissagibbs and I will look forward to that. So now that I have the shake poured into the cup, I'm going to add my lid and grab my sugar-free whip. This is the Great Value brand. I love this one. Um, I'm just going to put just a little bit on the top. See how it has like the different effects all on the cup? This is perfect for Cinco de Mayo or like any day. All these shakes are great for any day, but it's good to promote for Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> And then I'm going to grab my pineapple preserves and I'm just going to put a little bit more right on top of the whipped cream as well as my seasoning. And once you do that, that is your shake. I want you all to try it. Let me know how you like it. But I just love the way the cup looks because it just looks very festive and very Cinco de Mayo. And now we're going to move on to our second shake this one is one of my favorites i'll drink this one any day it don't have to be cinco de mayo but i'm going to blend up my ice and water as i usually do i always chop it up and then i add my products into the chopped ice and i'm grabbing vanilla protein and i'm going to do double protein with this one as well and then once I have my double protein in the blender, again, if you only do one in your shakes, just put one scoop of protein. This does not have to have two. All right, so now I have French vanilla and I'm just gonna put one scoop of that. And then I am moving on to my dulce de leche and I'm going to add one scoop of that. And now that I have my protein in there and I have my formula one in there, I am going to add, ta-da, cheesecake. So you're going to use 
the big side of your Herbalife spoon. And you're just gonna put one scoop of that in there. And then this, my friends, is almond extract. Almond extract makes a huge difference in these shakes. I love it inside of this one and also co Coquito. So you're just gonna do one of <clears throat> the small side of the Herbalife spoon. And also you're gonna have cinnamon. So you're gonna get your cinnamon while everything is blending up at the blender and just sprinkle it on your cup. The water from the ice and water that was in the cup is going to catch that cinnamon. So you just sprinkle the cinnamon around the cup like that. And as you can see, it's sticking to the water drops. And then again, we're going to get our sugar-free caramel syrup and you're just going to squirt that right into the blender. And then we're going to, this one was a little thick the way I like it. The shake was made for me. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and put the shake in the cup and you can see the way it looks um, with the cinnamon and the caramel. And if this video is helping you, please like, subscribe, uh, give it a thumbs up, share it with your Herbalife family, and comment below and let me know if you like this recipe or if you're going to try the recipe. Let me know how it came out. And now that I have everything in the cup, I am going to add my sugar-free whip on there. Can you hear my kids screaming in the background? They're playing. It's so cute. All right. So now I have my whipped cream on the top of the shake. And because this is fried ice cream, you got to add a little crunch. So I'm adding a little bit of Frosted Flakes. I know some people think it's a huge deal. You shouldn't add sugar or cereal or anything like that. But with this recipe, that's what I do. Everyone does it different. If you don't want to add the Frosted Flakes, don't add the Frosted Flakes. I'm adding Frosted Flakes to mine because that's how I like it and that's how my customers like it. But again, you always have that option. If you don't want them on there, don't put them on there. But it is the cherry to this recipe. And once I have just a little bit of the Frosted Flakes on the top, as you can see, it's not a lot. I add a little bit more sugar, um, not sugar, I was going to say sugar-free um, caramel, but I'm adding a little bit more of my cinnamon onto the top and look how it looks, guys. Doesn't that just look amazing? Fried ice cream, but healthy. It's amazing. You have to try it. Let me know how you like it. Subscribe, like, and share with your Herbalife family. I hope you enjoyed.